Hi air sign, this is Sandra. I'm here to do your second half of August general and love reading. So let's see what's going on with air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign. What are the messages for the second half of August? What are the messages? air sign second half of August what are the messages for air sign August the 15th to the 31st we start with the high priestess The Magician, and the Six of Cups. Okay. Wow, you guys, somebody is really like there is a divine, there is a divine, oh gosh, how can I say? There is a divine love here, okay? This is what I see. There is a truly, truly a great love story happening right here. This is what I feel with the high priestess. Um, this is a very spiritual um, energy, okay? And the magician is there to make anything you want happen, okay? Whatever you want this to be, you can make it happen. It seems to me some of you air signs want this. And look at that. Beautiful, innocent, true love coming your way. I think for some of you, it's already here. Look at this. I love this card. It's one of my favorites. Look at him offering her a cup. Uh, and it look, they look so happy and innocent and just it's beautiful this is what's awaiting for you for some of you air signs now this could also be for some of you if you're um there's no one in your life right now and you're super single um this could also be a job offer a new job offer a new beginning um, something that you will really be passionate about. There's a lot of passion here. Um, it's going to create um, just, it's going to um, just change your overall look on, or your perspective on career choices, okay, and, and work. This should be a pretty good job offer for some something completely new okay and you can do it if this is something right up your alley you have all the resources necessary for this type of new job okay let's see what else is going on with air sign i tried to do my nails this morning i messed up okay Let's see what other messages for air sign, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. What other messages? For the second half of August, August the 15th to August the 31st messages for air sign. We've got the three of wands. Are you waiting? You're waiting around waiting for your ship to come in, your ships to come in, your sailboats, but your ships to come in. You've worked very hard, air sign, at something, at yourself even. Queen of Cups, beautiful, beautiful card. A card of nurturing, a card of caring, a card of um, unconditional love for friends and family and loved ones, just, it's just beautiful. 
two of wands. Wow, lots of wands. Um, could be that some of you have put in um, a great deal of investment in a project or a relationship. And um, you're now... Uh, you're now seeing the uh, rewards of this, um, of how much you've invested. And for some of you, it's coming, you're still waiting for it to come. Okay, let me just go further here. We've got the Three of Wands. You need to get out of your comfort zone for some of you, okay? Um, if this new, if this newness is going, is coming, it's asking you to, you, you, this is going to be something that's a little out of your comfort zone, this new thing, okay? It says to get out of your comfort zone and explore new opportunities for growth and development. Cover new ground and expand your horizons. All right, guys, this is what it, Spirit is telling you to just, um, yeah. Accept, be more open to something new, okay? You are the nurturer, the mother. You support others by listening with your heart, being compassionate and caring for them deeply. You're highly intuitive, creative, and in flow with the energies around you. And so you can make anything happen, basically. That's what you, you can make anything you want happen. You have the resources with the magician there, you have everything that you need. You know what you want to manifest as well, air sign. You want, you know what it is that you want to manifest. Now you just need to work out how, okay? Right here. You need to work out how to do it. You're exploring all options and planning your path ahead before taking action. Let your intuition and passion guide you as you confirm your next steps. There is nothing to fear here, air sign. There's absolutely nothing to fear right now. Whatever this new thing is, it's just going to be perfect for you. A perfect fit, okay? Even if it, it could look a little daunting, um, a little scary because you don't know what uh, is coming, what, what the outcome will be of this. Let's just go for it. And let's... I'm going to go for one last card from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck to see the energies um, flowing through for the rest of the month, okay? What the energy, what kind of energy are you going to be feeling and possibly what actions to take and maybe more clarity upon this uh, new uh, project. So let's see what messages for air sign. You've got building blocks. So guys, you've already have, you already have a pretty good foundation for what it is that you want to manifest. And building blocks is just time, you know? Sometimes things take time. You got to build on what you already have. Okay. Building blocks. Number 28. Strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. So obviously there is something new that's coming here. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. Isn't that, I almost said that word for word, that's weird. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being, yourself, are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. Guys, honestly, you've got such a bright future ahead here for the rest of this month. When you see this card also, for some of you, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have. 
by building them on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. You're moving toward laying the groundwork for a, relation, for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened. So for some of you who are already in one, you and the other person are stronger, wiser, more powerful together than apart. Another message here, uh, you have everything you need, of course, okay, to turn iron into gold in the alchemical process of creating the prosperous life you desire. Now's the time to build on the strong foundation you have already laid for your prosperity. Keep in mind that these building blocks are imbued with the sparkling energy of your intentions. Own your dream and remember that you always have more than enough and you always are enough. So abundance is ever present. Your creativity is divinely inspired. Right? Is divinely inspired and the design for your life is taking shape in service to the world. You're meant for success. Also, it's a time to address the cracks in the foundations of your life. Because guys sometimes there of course there are cracks in our foundations that's how we get we we feel vulnerable and um perhaps your values have changed and it's time to strengthen your convictions and let go of the things that no longer serve the vision you have for your life or perhaps you choose to ignore the signs that a situation or agreement you have entered into is not right for you remove the rotten pieces and reinforce your core moral strength and integrity Now's the time for rigorous honesty, for your call to renovate and upgrade your consciousness. Oh, inner work, guys. You will be so happy when you do. Spirit has a spectacular blueprint for your life far beyond your imagination. Don't be afraid to replace what's not solid. Don't be afraid to let go of all that junk that you keep um, carrying around and for so long, okay? So that's it, air sign. Um, I want to wish you a great day, a great rest of the month of August. I will be back for uh, a new reading pretty soon. I still have to decide what that's going to be. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for sharing and liking my videos and also uh, subscribing to my channel. Bye-bye.